Hi everyone, it's Lissy and it's Sunday, um, <clears throat> the Sunday after Christmas actually. I have a few things to chat with you about, but I think before I do, I'm going to do this kind of in reverse order. I'm going to get up and show you my outfit because I've been out and about running some errands and doing nonsense today, um, but I still have on my little jacket so I'm going to show it to you and then take it off and then sit down and have a chat. So let me get up quickly and show you um, what I'm wearing. So, today I am wearing, and I wore this bag with it, um, Casual Sunday, and it's like really actually warm out, so I didn't have to wear a heavy coat. So this is, and you can see kind of the cool, um, it's a sweater coat, it's a Missoni, it's actually M. Missoni, the diffusion line. Coat has pockets. This is a Chanel pin that was a gift from my girlfriend's, like, many years ago for my birthday, and I I think I love it more now than I even loved it then. Um, I'm wearing my standard Hermes bracelet. And then one of my favorite bags is the Philip Lim Vendetta bag, which is crossbody but can be converted into a shoulder strap bag. And then, hold on, I gotta show you my shoes. I love these Celine loafers, pointy toe Celine loafers. Comfortable, stylish, you can wear them with jeans, with trousers, whatever. And then I'll take off the, um, the bag and the jacket and kind of show you just the plain black sweater that I'm wearing. Which, it, well first I guess I'll show you, these jeans are the softest jeans I own. They're AG and they're really super comfortable. Oh, there's some flyaway strings there. And then this is an old, um, this is an old J. Crew sweater with like leather pockets. Um, but I, you know, I just kind of, you can see a little better against the white. Not that there's that much to see. But, you know, basic sweater. I like the length, crew neck. And there's a reason why I wanted to be a blank canvas today, and I'll tell you. Um, so basically what I've done today, well, first I'll say I was in Florida for most of last week for Christmas, um, visiting my dad and his wife, Susan, and um, my sister, my brother-in-law, my the cutest little nephew in the whole world, we were all down there together. It was clubby but fun and I got back yesterday afternoon sorry I'm really fidgety right now and um it was nice to be in my own bed last night I slept like a champ I got up this morning I went to the gym I came home and I went back out to do a few things now yesterday when I got back I went to the grocery store there's this little, you know, local grocery store in my neighborhood. I'm only here. It's only a short week for me this week because I'm going to New York again next weekend. And um, so I just needed a few things. But on my way to the grocery store, right next door, is this local shop called Viola Lovely. And it's a really neat shop. A lot of it is not my style. Um, they sell a lot of Isabel Morant, which I know lots of people love. It's just not... And I, there's nothing wrong with it. It's just not my aesthetic for myself. Um, but they do have, like, often some neat things. Kenzo. Um, of course, I can't think of the brands that I wear that they, or that I would wear if they had things that I liked um, in my size. But anyway, God, Kenzo, there's an, oh, Veronica Beard. Um, so they, they have some really neat stuff. But they have cool jewelry. And I don't know why I don't pop in there more often because I do just walk by there a lot. But anyway, they had this cool kind of lariat necklace in the window. And so I, on my way to the grocery store, I eyed it. I went into the grocery store and I came out and I walked by it again and I looked at it again. And I'm like, you know what, I'm going to go in there. And I looked at several things and I found not the necklace in the window, though I did try that on, but another one by the same designer and this really neat bracelet. But I was in my workout clothes with my grocery bags and I'm like, you know what, I'm gonna think about it. And if I want it, if I think about it and I still want it tomorrow, I'll just come back. 
So um, I went back today. And so that's why I wanted to be a blank canvas because I wanted to like be able to try on the necklace like on its own. So anyway, I want to show you. So the necklace is by this diner designer, Marie Laure Chamorel, if you can see that. It's a little bag. I, I've never heard of this jewelry line before. Um, but apparently she at some point, I don't know exactly in what capacity, designed, worked for Alaya Balmain, someone else. But she kind of went out on her own a number of years ago. But she makes um, this jewelry that's kind of a combination of like hand weaving, beading, and um, kind of this like these cool chains. So you see how neat this is? Like look at so you can see the um, see the different kind of like you can see the weaving part here and um, the beading and then the cool kind of chains and it's adjustable because there are a couple snaps you can either snap two together for reinforcement or you can snap just one if you want it a little longer. See, oh there, I snapped it on myself. I was having trouble doing that in the store. But um, I just thought it was really neat. And I could totally see kind of, you know, wearing it on its own or, you know, kind of layering it with other pieces. And I really just liked it. Now the other thing I saw are these really cool cuffs. This is called... Um, the brand, the design is Miansai, Mian I think it's Miansai. And anyway, you can't really tell so much right now. This is rose gold. And this is their screw. Some, I mean, literally, it looks like a screw. And it literally, like, unscrews um, like it's two pieces because this totally comes out. But I thought, you know, hold on, I'll put it on down out of view here. Um, Oh, shoot. Hold on. I thought it would be neat, like, either worn with other um, bracelets by itself, like on the hand with my watch. I'm not going to screw it all the way in, but I'll show you enough so you can get the idea. But, like, isn't it really neat? They have them in sterling silver, too. And I opted against the sterling silver because, one, I don't generally like sterling because... You have to shine that. I mean, you have to keep that up. Um, and secondly, I'm like, it was more expensive, much more expensive in the sterling. This is, I don't know what, but it's kind of plated in rose gold. Um, but what is also neat about this is the guy that is behind this, like, I think he's Miami-based, and it's all kind of made in the USA. And... Um, I just thought it was neat. So I had never heard of, of this Mian Sai before, but apparently, I think when I looked it up, apparently like Barney sells it and stuff too. But anyway, so that was a, that's what I was doing today. And then the rest of the day, I'm like, I'm off the sauce because the wine consumption in Florida last week was, you know, off the charts. Um, so I have just some chicken breasts that I'm gonna roast, just with plain olive oil, salt, pepper. Um, steam some broccoli, and I don't know, maybe I'll have some rice or, oh, maybe I'll have some farro with it. Anyway, so I'm going to have a nice, like, healthy dinner tonight. Um, I'm going to New York on Thursday, which is New Year's Day, and I'm going for a couple things. One, despite the fact that I was with my sister and brother-in-law for Christmas, um, as a general matter, of course, my family and I, we don't exchange gifts, but my sister and my brother-in-law and I, we do. And so instead of lugging stuff down to Florida, um, we decided, you know, kind of we'd figure out another time to do it. So I have a bunch of stuff I have to wrap for um, our gift exchange, which we'll do on Thursday night. And then my friend Sandy, who lives in Vermont, is going to meet me down in New York on Friday morning. And I'm so excited because I go to New York a lot and I stay with my sister and, and my brother-in-law, um, which I love. But I never really stay in a hotel, um, you know, which makes it more of like a real vacation. 
So we're staying at this fabulous, like gorgeous, gorgeous hotel called The Mark. I've never stayed there before. But the pictures, I mean, modern, clean, just really cool looking. And you know, in January, the prices are not really that expensive. It's a five-star hotel, but we got a really good deal. And um, so anyway, we're going there this weekend and, you know, we'll probably do the usual like knock around Barney's, Bergdorf's, maybe have lunch at Fred's at Barney's. Um, and then Saturday night, we're going to dinner at Maialino in the Gramercy Park Hotel, which is one of my favorite restaurants. And we're um, going to actually celebrate my birthday. My birthday is really the following week, um, but we'll celebrate my birthday Saturday night. So I'm really looking forward to my weekend. There was something else I wanted to tell you. Oh, yes. So also while I was in Florida, um, you know, I like to like knock around in the like makeup section of CVS occasionally. But the one by me, I mean, it's okay. But, you know, the ones in Florida are bigger and have way more stuff. So my sister and I went in there. Actually, I think we went in there Christmas morning. And I pretty much for the last, I don't know how many years, have exclusively used the Tom Ford Mascara. And I use the Tom Ford Extreme Mascara. Um, Tom Ford Extreme Mascara. And I like it. Like a, It's a thickening, clumpy, but not super clumpy mascara. But it's expensive. I don't remember how much it is. And then I was really annoyed because on my last trip to New York to Bergdorf's, I said I wanted two in the black. And I told him, I don't want the lengthening one. I want the thickening one. And I didn't look at what he gave me. And he gave me, whatever this says, ultra length mascara. Oops, sorry. Which is, I've tried, I actually, so I used it because it's what I had at that moment in New York. And I didn't realize he gave me the wrong thing. But, you know, it's kind of an expensive mistake. Because these are probably, I don't know what they are. They have to be something like, you know, $40 or something. So I'm like, there's got to be a mascara that I would like um, that's not $40. So my sister and I, we were looking. And I don't know if you can see. I mean, my lashes look pretty good today. Um, and this is the Maybelline Colossal Volume Express Mascara. And I actually like it. I mean, this is only the second time I've used it, and I'm going to try it a few more times. Um, but I might really give this a go. And when I'm in New York this weekend, I mean, the one I used, I probably can't do anything about, but I have one that's not used, and I'm going to make them take it back. Because I also really want to go to the Charlotte Tilbury counter at Bergdorf's. I don't know if any of you have used the Charlotte Tilbury makeup. You know, she's like a British... Um, like Makeup Artist to the Stars, I think, who has her own line of makeup, and I think it's widely sold in the UK, not widely sold here in the United States, but Bergdorf sells it. And I, you know, you could buy it online, but I want to see it up close and personal. And there are a couple things in particular I want to check out. But anyway, I can, you know, this necklace is kind of catching in my hair a little bit. Um, <laughs> that's an aside. But anyway, I want to check out a couple things there, but I can at least use the credit from my mascara towards some new makeup. Um, so, okay, I think that's it for today. Um, I hope you had a great Christmas. Oh, you know what else was interesting? You know how people generally say happy holidays this time of year? You know, it's like no longer, I guess, politically correct to wish someone a Merry Christmas. But in Florida, like everyone wished us a Merry Christmas. Like when, my sister and I went out walking one morning and you know everybody down there says hi to each other when you walk by and everybody not everybody but most everybody wish Merry Christmas and I just thought it was nice you know I don't know I don't take offense to that um anyway so I wish you a Merry Christmas if you celebrate it I wish you happy holidays if you don't happy Hanukkah happy Kwanzaa whatever is your thing um and I'm sure we'll be chatting before the new year I mean I'll try to um tee up another video or blog post or something before I head to New York for the weekend. But anyway, hope you had a great one. Talk to you soon.